Now, of course, like all real life experience story, this also begins once a polytito. G'day, Viking Warrior here again. Today, we will be looking at the Whinging Westbury Winers. The Whinging Westbury Winers are a group of people, mostly female, who are opposed to their Tasmanian state government building a new maximum security prison near, but not in, the historic, or should I say, their hysteric, town of Westbury, in the Meander Valley, in the north to northwest, Tasmania. So, this municipality is currently part of the Conservative Liberal Government electorate of Lyons, has already received a brand new fish processing factory, with thanks also to the work of their state government. Or should we say, they should have said thank you, but I must have blinked and missed it. Similarly, the new prison will also bring lots of jobs and money into the area. But thanks are again sadly missing in action. So, just what have we got here? On the one hand, the state government trying its best to progress its electorate. And on the other hand, the whinging West Free Winers. Part, no doubt, of the anti-everything brigade, who do not want that prison with those people in its own hysteric, uh, historic town. So let's delve a little deeper into our vivisection of these whinging Westbury winers. Seemingly mostly female, according to our own PC biased ABC news service, which would probably then mean social media engagement, probably Facebook, ergo the type of gossiping Tasmania police vigilantes prevalent in the Meander Valley, the type who would get on Facebook the minute a strange car came to town to try and enjoy the village green, but instead of being able to enjoy said village green, are instead constantly buzzed by teams of vehicles driven by these hyper-vigilante Facebook fuckers who will brook no type of change, nor even strangers, in their very own hysteric, uh, historic town whose activities then would not only include mm, rubbernecking strangers, but being actively involved in that most un-Australian of all activities, dogging or narking or police informing, or if you like, ensuring that anybody who does not meet their high standards of dress, etiquette, behaviour and flatulent suppression are swiftly conveyed out of sight out of mind to the nearest, uh, mm, that should read, to the furthest correctional facility. Now then, we come to the crux of our whinging Westbury Winer vivisection. A heart made of pure hypocrisy. Lock all strangers and all men up in jail. Just not in my backyard. If you don't mind. Which gives us, does it not? Whinging Westbury Winers on the one hand, WWW, and NIMBY, N I M B Y, not in my backyard, on the other hand. Let's put it all together, we get www.nimby.com. A quick browse on the Viking browser will reveal the following little gem. One, NIMBY is the natural psychological phenomenon of ownership and influence, short for not in my backyard. NIMBY is shorthand used to describe the nearly automatic opposition by one or a few of any project of any nature in any industry, often based in the true 
and unfortunate experiences of those opposing the development, then Indianism arises as the motives or methods or products are questioned or attacked, often with great vigor. <laughs> Two, often legitimate hard data facts are dismissed by those emotionally or financially committed to nimbyism. The fear, or sometimes unspoken personal motives, has a blinding effect to facts. At times, it is a psychological barrier, not a rational barrier. Three, nimby is a hardwired primordial protection mechanism. If you want to put a pot of gold in my backyard, since it wasn't my idea, I don't want it because I don't trust your motives. I don't care how good it sounds. If it's not my idea, I will fight you on it. <laughs> well, exposed by their own acronym, www.nimby.com indeed. Well, let us then vivisect this heart of pure hypocrisy a little more then. Just suppose all of these unfortunates locked up in jail furthest jail, that is, had crimes of no more than victimless crimes of poverty and starvation, maybe even cannabis or opioid use. Westbury, having perhaps the most historic Catholic church in Tasmania, one steeped in a tradition of radical anti-Anglican direct action, would nevertheless say, not only forgive your enemies, but take in the poor, feed and house them in your own house. Not lock the dirty bastards up and not in my backyard if you don't mind. Next, disability pensioners criminalised for the medicinal use of cannabis. Well, just where are the secret government cannabis growing facilities? Where the end product is not only twice the price of your friendly local black market supplier, and is then still denied to those requesting a reasonable quality of life. Not, not, not in that industrial estate right next to where a shiny new prison is proposed. Surely not. As for the opioid abusers who, because this is prescribed by their doctor, are not dirty drug addicts, bruh. Of course, we must remember that lucrative of all crops grown in the Westbury region, opium poppies. So recently the subject of so much discussion in Trump land, whose own inhabitants are just dying to get their hands on some more. Not only grown in Westbury, but processed in Westbury. Ha ha, you guessed it. In that industrial estate, right next to where, a shiny new prison is proposed. Given then, all of this gross hypocrisy so quickly and easily exposed, one might prescribe, might have won, just a modicum of humility, followed by a quick near coma, all washed down with a dose of, oh, thanks very much for our shiny new prison and all of the jobs and money it will bring to our area, so, Thanks very much again. Oh, whoopsie indeed. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. <laughs>